Hello and welcome back to a new video and today we have snail mail. I have finally received the parcel with two new snails of Fulika Jadatsi and they come from a Norwegian breeder uh, who has two adult snails between 15 and 16 centimeters in shell length which for Fulika is absolutely brilliant. So I've just picked up the parcel um, about half an hour ago um, and I hope they're okay. Um, you'll find that this parcel has soaked through a little bit uh, with moisture, but that's bound to happen sometimes when shipping snails. So I say we just hop in and check out these snails. And uh, their names are gonna be Rough Nut and Tough Nut. Right. I will try and remove it from this little contraption I've got going here. There we are. Oops. And as you can see, it's um, it's pretty soaked. Um, nothing wrong with that, of course. Um, doesn't seem to have seeped through outside the tape, so that is fine. Ugh. It's very heavy, um, and I think the uh, owner sent them in um, substrate, so that's probably why the parcel is heavy. Right, let's um, go in here, I suppose. Oh, and um, the under the uh, cover here is a little bit um, wobbly because it's just a reused um, tabletop from one of my old desks. So, uh, yeah, I do apologize for that. Let's see if I can get through here properly. And let's slide it open, I guess. Oh, I see a box. Ah, do excuse my very poor opening skills. There we are. Yeah, you can see, um, it's soaked through a lot on this side of the parcel, but it's been packaged very well. So um, thank you very much for um, making sure they arrive safely. Um, yeah, I think I'll just set the box down here for now. It's been packed in a lovely box of pistachio ice cream. I really like pistachio actually. Oh, yeah, I can uh, definitely smell the substrate. It has a very distinct smell, so uh, it's very possible that the weight in the box has shifted over to one side during shipment. Um, there's always risks with shipping snails in the mail, so do be aware of that, um, which you know I also mentioned in my video last year when baby arrived. Right, let's see if Rough Nut and Tough Nut are okay. Fingers crossed. <gasps> Hello. <gasps> Hi. Oh, goodness me. What are you doing? Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Are you holding on to the lid? You silly tillies. Goodness. Hold on. Oh. All right. Let's um, get you off. Come here. That's one. I'll put him there. And here's the other one. Come here. Let go. Oh my goodness, they're already out and, uh, out and about. Oh my goodness. Hi. I was expecting them to be retracted the whole time, but... They've already come out just to see what's going on. Hi. Oh my goodness, they are just so cute. Hi, Rough Nut and Tough Nut. How are you? Oh my goodness. Oh, they're so adorable. And their shells are amazing. Look at this. Sorry, I'm, I'm crying a little bit. But... You can see here that there's still new growth going on. It looks really fantastic. And then um, these two have actually been through the proper, um, the culling process. 
So um, they are amongst the strongest in the clutch and I think there was I think nine snails left over after the whole culling was complete. So um, I have very high hopes for these two and I hope they will grow to a much larger size than what is considered the norm in the hobby today. And um, my goal is to try and pair one of them with Titania and the other one with Discovery. And if all goes well, I'm also going to import a um, Fulica Jadazzi from Italy. No, not Jadazzi, my bad. My, um, a Rodazzi, I'm sorry. They're very distracting because they're so cute. Um, but yeah, so they have arrived safe and sound. They are active, they look healthy. They're very heavy for their size. Um, so I really want to say thank you to um, their owner who shipped them to me. Uh, I think I paid 30 euros per snail, since they are from such fantastic parents. So um, thank you for watching and uh, I hope to post updates about these guys as time goes along. Say bye!